Okay, it's done. I've done oh, it. Oh, the mic is on. No, I've done right. it. Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> I don't like it. Don't look at the camera. Look straight ahead. Where am I looking? At the camera. <laughs> don't do it. What? Are you nervous? Why is it so hard? All right. There you go. Which bit? Good morning, sheep fans. <gasps> Even Wilson can do it. Good morning, sheep fans. Oh, this is as much as I'm going to do. No, you're going to... Come on, Lizzie's the name. <laughs> Sheep's the game. There you go, yeah, that's almost, that's right. I'm going to try again. <laughs> oh, God. Good morning, sheep fans. Lizzie's the name, Sheep's the game. Yes! <laughs> we finally got her to do it. It's only taken, like, 18 months. Yes! Let's go. Right. Roll the intro. Can you jump that, Meg? So we did it. We finally got Lizzie to do an introduction for us here at the sheep game. Very exciting. Are oh, you just derobing? Feeling the heat? Yes, yeah, so well, we're going to walk across the grass here and bring in some Shetlands, aren't we, Meg? Are you excited? Meg, you excited? Oh, yeah. Shh. Oh, lie down, lie down. Fern's here to cause chaos again. Sky just does what she wants. That'll do, Sky. That'll do, Sky. Good dog. Good dog. So, it's not the most amazing team, but it's our team and we make it work. That's what it's all about, sheep fans. Hope you're all well. Thanks for everyone that's been supporting the channel, buying the merchandise. Click that subscribe button. Go and do it. I don't know why I clicked at you. But yeah, please click the subscribe button. Numbers are growing fantastic. We're back in a rhythm now. Shearing's finished. I can finally breathe. There was just such a lot of pressure on whilst it was farmers wanting sheep shorn and just crazy. I'm going to do a video very soon about how many I shore this summer. I've still not totaled it up. And we'll talk about, really, we'll talk about how many I've shorn. I'm swithering on whether I should talk about how much money. I made from the shearing. I don't know where that comes across. I don't want it to come across as if like I'm, I'm showing off or, oh, you know, it's always just funny when you talk about money. Like I don't want people to get offended or to really take a bad view of me, essentially. But my only reason for thinking it would be a good video is that it would show other young men and women who maybe want to become sheep shearers or are looking for an avenue into farming. It would maybe show them what could be achieved. It's kind of my thinking of it. I suppose it would depend how I edited it. You can let me know guys in the comments, it'd be good if, if you're interested in hearing how many sheep I shore and potentially how much I earn from shearing this year. Then let us know in the comments and, and I think I'll pull a video together and just try and work out how to edit it to avoid upsetting anyone. Just so it's okay, I'll wait for you Lizzie. I'll wait for you. As we film this today, Lizzie is 37 weeks pregnant today. How exciting is that? Oh, very. Oh, very, very. So our job today for this video, I should tell you, I'd like to tell you that at the start, and we're this far in, I haven't told you yet. Our job today is to gather in the Shetlands, the little Shetlands. You don't see them very often. They don't need much looking after, to be fair. That's the great thing about Shetlands. They're a tough, tough sheep. We're gonna gather them in with their lambs. They're still with the lambs. This is August, time they were weaned, and we're going to wean them today. And also, with Lizzie wants to weigh a few lambs, which gives an idea of what kind of weights are coming off these wee tiny Shetlands. A lot of the lambs are bigger than the mums, it's quite amazing. Is that all we're doing, Lizzie? Dozing the lambs? Yeah. Dozing the lambs, we've been doing some fecal egg counts, as you may have seen in previous videos. And the worm egg counts are getting high in these lambs as well. So this will just be the second dose, a clear wormer. They had a white wormer before on the 6th of June, I believe. And this is them getting a clear wormer. This is the 16th of August. They're ready for a clear wormer now. That might do them, it might not, we'll see. We'll just keep uh, testing the dung samples for worm eggs and judge it based on that. Rather than just guessing if they need wormed, base it on the facts, base it on the science, base it on the testing. Let's get these shetlands in. 
probably do need to get a long rope on her when we're doing these jobs, eh? Hey, I've never asked my dogs. Don't don't get onto my dogs, Lizzie. That'll do Meg, that'll do Sky. That'll do Meg, that'll do Sky. Fern's gone. Fern is gone. Oh well. No, she's came back. <laughs> Right, Fern, are you going to go round wide? Wade. Wade. Right, Wade. all right, wait, we're away. Wade. That's it, Lizzie's made the decision. Wait. Wait, Fern. No, she's just no idea. Need to get her back in the ring, eh? Meg and Skye up the fence line, like a couple of pros. Oh, now she's seen them. What's happening? Aye, Fern's just saying, why are they doing all that running? They could have just run straight. No, she's lost it. We shh. Meg just doesn't have the legs anymore, she's getting a bit older. Fern's coming back, not sure what she's meant to be at. That's okay, she's keen on the sheep. We can, as long as I've got that desire to work, we can always do something with it. It'd be good to know actually that Lizzie and I don't pretend to be experts in training dogs or experts in anything really. So let us know if it's actually really bad to let the dog run about like this, let us know. I don't think it is, I think it's good for her to work with other dogs. Yeah, she's running a bit silly, but she's keen to work. We can work on that weight just she? Nine. nine months just now, so I think that's okay. I'm not worried. Don't be wrong, I think there's dogs at nine months selling for 20 grand these days, but... Fun and games. Let's, uh, put the camera down, concentrate on the dogs, and we'll get them to the gate. We... Quite a standard Shetland thing, this. Just, um, last couple of sheep don't want to go through the gate. Walk up, Meg. Fern's back on the rope because she's absolutely mental, but that's okay. That's okay. I used to be mad keen like that myself. So when you're working with Shetlands, they're famous. We, for things like this, where the two or three will break away, just to be really awkward. So we've got to get the dogs to run round. We, lie down, lie down. Try and keep them nice and tight. Look, see ya. See that one there? Where's my wee? See her there? We lie down. But then the other thing is you don't want to push Shetlands too hard or they just lie down or break back or just become a bit of a nuisance. More breakaways. Meg, Meg, now Meg. Look at this. Hello, Meg. Look at this. Hello, Meg. Come by. Don't let them get in with them. Don't mix them up. Light in, light in. We light in, light in. Oh, that was a close one. That was a close one, Meg. Don't tease me like that. Good <laughs> dog, that'll do. Right, Sky, wait, Sky. Are you just, are you helping or are you hindering? I never really know with Sky. Some days I'm like, yeah, great help. Other days she's just doing her own wee thing. That'll do, Sky. Oh, here we go. Come out the rushes. Lie down. Fly strike. There's another one with fly strike we noticed yesterday as well, so that was another kind of reason that spurred us on to get them in. Nothing special here. Oh, Meg, you're pushing too hard there. It's not a bad lamb, actually. That's probably the best lamb in the thing, eh? Alright, let's get them in the pens. Okay, so we finally managed to get the sheep in. Next up, it's the red dot. We're going to go through them. Sorry, let's just cast Lizzie behind the camera there. The wind, I didn't think about where the wind was going. We're going to go through them, check their mouths, make sure they've plenty of teeth, because these sheep run on quite hard ground, and if they don't have all their teeth, they really struggle to make it through the winter. It's just kind of unfair on the sheep, and they struggle to get enough grass to survive and to grow a lamb inside them. So we'll check that, and we'll also check their udders to make sure they're in good fettle, in good form. Simple process, just open the mouth, nice set of gnashers there, on this little brown one, let her go. Underneath, lovely vessel, lass. You might the look at that top teeth. <laughs> you obviously, um, Lizzie makes a little joke there. Sheep, they do have top teeth, but only at the back, not at the front. Oh, 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 good teeth. That's last here. Look at that, look at that for a set of gnashers. That's a shame. 
<laughs> oh, let, do you not like that one because she's wild? She is wild. Oh, come on, girls, let me check your bags. Good bag, good bag. Oh, good bag. Let me see you, let me see you. What you like, smile. Lovely smile. Lovely. Oh, one left. Look how small, like you'd say that's a tiny little lamb, right? right? Mm. And it's big, it's, it's still bigger than her. Lovely, lovely set of teeth. Right, oh, check, check the bag. Good. Right, that simple. We're just going to do that repeatedly until we get through them all. And as we go in here, we're going to shed out the using lambs. We're left with a pen of lambs and any use for culling at the end. Okay, so it's boring showing you all the good ones, but I think it's good to show you an example of a bad one. And you may have heard people say when they go to the market to buy sheep, you know, check their mouths. And you may have wondered what that means or what they're talking about. It's, this is a quite a good example of this sheep here. Because you may look at this sheep here and think, you know, when she's full of the mouth, you know, imagine those teeth were still there. You think, oh, she's full of the mouth, that's okay. But actually, she's a little bit short of her bottom jaw. So she's, our bottom jaw is just beyond the gum here. So the teeth aren't connecting with the pad here. Like if we use this sheep as another example. I've not even checked this sheep yet, so I hope it's a good example. So you see how that sheep's teeth just connect with the curve of the bit here. She's not actually a great example either. She's slightly over, but she's a better example than this sheep who's far too far over. And what happens is those teeth just keep growing because there's nothing to rub against and they become long and spindly and get loose in the gum like this here. You'll see it moving just slightly. That's just ready to pop out any time. And what's going to happen is that sheep will lose one or two at a time and then she'll struggle to bite the grass. Because quite often with sheep, no teeth is better than just a few teeth. Because if she tries to bite the grass, she won't get a good connection and most of the grass will slip through here, making it hard for her to graze through the winter. So unfortunately, this sheep is going to be marked red in the back of the head. She'll run with the lambs, get a good bite of grass, and she'll go to the market at some point soon. This sheep's actually a better example. You see how it's connecting nice with the top. Teeth are all nice and flush, same length, and they're solid in the gum. Good set of teeth there. So that is that job done. Here we have the lambs and the ewes that are not for breeding next year. See with a lamb there that's had a touch of fly strike. Lizzie actually show that one, what a tidy job. See a ewe with a bad udder there, might get a shot of her. You'll see her bad udder. She's actually been like that since I got her and she's reared a good, a, a good lamb so fair play to her but we'll not be keeping her again next year. The lambs are nothing fancy, they've been run pretty hard all winter, all spring. They're now on a better bite now and they're going to go into a really good bite after this. We are going to shear all these lambs, you'll see that in a video at some point very soon. I'm thinking end of this week, I'm thinking Friday, this is Monday, I'm thinking Friday. But things change rapidly in this world. We'll just get uh, some of Lizzie's thoughts on the matter. Lizzie, what do you think of the, the lambs? The lambs look alright actually. No, they're never going to look big against a small sheep. Yeah. Well, they look big against a small sheep, but they're never oh, going to be big like, I mean. out a small sheep. Right. Yeah. That's the thing. The ewes actually make you think the lambs are bigger than they are. Mm -hmm. But when you see them standing in a pen there after working with the Texels the day before, they're definitely not on that uh, on that level. But that's what it is. Right, eh? Lizzie, sure one. I sure one. How did that feel? Like 37 weeks? My 21st for the season. 37 weeks pregnant. How did that feel? I find it tight. Were you able to breathe? <laughs> yes. Let's get these to the field and wrap this one up. Clear those done? Yes, we dozed them. Did we show that? Yeah. Uh, no, we didn't. No, we, didn't. we dozed them as we looked at the mouths. Did it all at the same time. We were going to shed them and we thought, ah, there's only a hundred lambs and a hundred ewes. Do it as we go. Let's jump to them running out into the field. That's the end of that one sheep fans, we're done for another video, as always if you made it this far, 
absolute legends. Thanks for all the support. We'll see you for the next one, whatever that may be. Let's see it. Not a bad job. I've seen this.